It's election day and voters across the state will decide on a variety of items. CBS 19's Monica Ortiz is live this afternoon with everything you need to know before heading to the polls. Monica? Yeah, hey there, Jid. I'm here in front of the hub off Ferguson Street in Tyler. Voting started around 7 this morning. I've been out here for about an hour. I haven't really seen too many people. You can see behind me, this is where the line would be. I haven't seen a line so far yet, but it is the lunchtime hour, so I'm thinking that people will come during their break, so be prepared for that. But if you are coming out today at any point, here's some things you might want to know, like where can you vote. If you're in Smith County, you can vote at 21 different locations, the Hub, Bell Elementary School, the Glass Rec Center, Old Tyler Airport, Chapel Hill High School. We have a full list of different polling locations for each county on our website, cbs19.tv. And yes, you do need a form of identification. Your Texas driver's license will work. If you don't have that, you can use a Texas election identification certificate, a Texas personal identification card, handgun license or a passport. There are several other options. If you forget your ID, you aren't completely out of luck. You can use a copy of a government document, your current utility bill, bank statement, government check or paycheck. But if you still are heading out here and you want to touch up on what you're going to see on the ballot, those 10 constitutional amendments, we have all that listed on our website, cbs19.tv. Back to you, Jen. Good deal. Thanks so much, Monica. And you have until 7 o'clock tonight to get out and vote. If you